Hold your breath and prepare for the most jaw-dropping revelation yet. Brace yourselves, because the Earth's greatest secret has just been unveiled. The largest volcano ever has cracked open the very fabric of our planet. We've always known that the Earth holds many secrets, but what we've just uncovered is beyond anything we could have ever imagined. Get ready to embark on a journey to witness the sheer power of nature as we explore the most mind-boggling discovery yet. This is a story that will leave you on the edge of your seat, so buckle up and hold on tight. Hawaii, a captivating archipelago, is home to one of Earth's most extraordinary natural wonders, the magnificent Mauna Loa Volcano. Alongside Mauna Loa, the island of Hawaii boasts four other impressive volcanoes, Kohala, Mauna Kea, Halalai, and Kilauea. These shield volcanoes have a rich eruptive history, with Kohala now extinct, Mauna Kea and Halalai dormant, and Mauna Loa and Kilauea still active. Together, they form the renowned Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Mauna Loa proudly stands as the largest sub-aerial volcano in terms of both mass and volume, second only to the extinct Tamu Massif in the Pacific Ocean. With gentle slopes, Mauna Loa boasts an estimated volume of around 75,000 cubic kilometers. However, its peak falls slightly lower than its neighboring volcano, Mauna Kea. The lava eruptions from Mauna Loa are typically low in silica content and highly fluid, characterized by non-explosive behavior. This colossal volcano has likely been erupting for at least 700,000 years, emerging above sea level nearly 400,000 years ago. The most recent eruption of Mauna Loa, Hawaii's mighty volcano, took place from March 24th to April 15th in 1984. While the recent eruptions of this colossal volcano have been relatively casualty-free, it's important to note that the eruptions in 1926 and 1950 did result in the destruction of nearby villages. While many people fear catastrophic events like asteroid impacts or nuclear wars, there's another menacing force that could bring about the sudden end of life as we know it. It's the wrathful magma, surging with pressure and eagerly seeking release from beneath the Earth's surface, capable of wreaking havoc on our planet. Stretching from northern Nevada through southern Idaho and up to northwest Wyoming lies a daunting array of volcanoes, scattered intermittently over a distance of about 560 kilometers. Among them are supervolcanoes, colossal geological features that have existed for nearly 18 million years. But what exactly defines a supervolcano? Supervolcanoes, a force of unimaginable magnitude, hold a chilling place in Earth's history. With a documented past eruption, these volcanic giants possess a Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, of 8, the highest ever recorded on the index. The most recent super eruption, with a VEI of 8, occurred 26,500 years ago in the Taupo Volcano, located in New Zealand. Another notable example is the Deccan Traps, formed by the Reunion Hotspot nearly 66 million years ago. This event, coinciding with the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, was no mere coincidence. Similarly, the Siberian Traps, the largest flood basalt event, took place approximately 250 million years ago, aligning with the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the most extensive mass extinction in Earth's history. The island of Hawaii harbors a looming danger with its active volcanoes, particularly Mount St. Helens and Kilauea. Mount St. Helens, situated in Washington's Skamania County, is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire and the Cascade Volcanic Arc. Its catastrophic eruption on May 18, 1980, holds the unfortunate distinction of being the deadliest and costliest volcanic event in U.S. history. The eruption, ranked as a Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI-5, started with preatic blasts and swiftly escalated into a massive explosion eruption. The north face of the volcano collapsed, triggering a landslide of molten rock and pulverized debris. The resulting eruption column reached an astonishing height of 24 kilometers, dispersing ash across 11 states and Canadian provinces. The accompanying melting of snow and glaciers led to destructive lahars that extended to the Columbia River. The Hawaiian Islands owe their existence to the continuous movement of the Pacific Plate over a hotspot in the Earth's mantle. 
This geological process results in the gradual growth of shield volcanoes and the release of magma and gases, often accompanied by earthquakes. With history as a guide, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory urges residents to prepare for potential eruptions, just as those in hurricane-prone regions prepare for the season. The eruption of Mauna Loa, Hawaii's largest volcano, can have varying impacts depending on its location and eruption style. Although current seismic activity is not as high as in previous eruptions, the volcanic activity on Mauna Loa has gained momentum. Additionally, the risk of eruptions from other Hawaiian volcanoes has also increased. It is important to note that the source of a lava flow during an eruption cannot always be predicted. Yellowstone National Park hosts the Yellowstone Caldera, a supervolcano that poses a significant hazard. Although the caldera has not fully erupted in over 70,000 years, scientists are monitoring its activity closely. This massive volcanic system resides in a hotspot, comprising molten and semi-molten rock. The movement of magma beneath Yellowstone causes the ground to swell and rise periodically. Scientists at the University of Northern Colorado closely monitor the Yellowstone volcano's activity as they remain uncertain about the potential consequences of an eruption in July 2022. The University of Utah's seismographic stations, responsible for operating and analyzing the Yellowstone seismic network, recorded 59 earthquakes in the Yellowstone National Park region. Studying the volcano's past provides valuable insights. Geological evidence reveals that Yellowstone has experienced three massive eruptions in the past 2.1 million years, with intervals between eruptions ranging from 600,000 to 800,000 years. The consequences of a Yellowstone eruption would be devastating. Within a 40-mile radius of the blast, destruction would be catastrophic, affecting major cities like Denver, Salt Lake City, and Boise. The eruption's aftermath would entail the release of a massive volume of volcanic materials into the atmosphere, resulting in toxic ash raining down across the entire United States. The ash would have severe repercussions, including the destruction of buildings, roads, farmlands, and the loss of countless lives. By closely monitoring Yellowstone's activity, scientists hope to enhance their understanding and advance their ability to predict and mitigate potential volcanic events. Although the chances of an eruption are low, the possibility remains, and the implications emphasize the need for ongoing research and preparedness. Approximately 200 million years ago, a series of massive volcanic eruptions triggered what is known as the End Triassic Extinction. These eruptions, originating from the central Atlantic magmatic province, spewed vast amounts of lava and gases, including carbon dioxide, sulfur, and methane into the atmosphere. The release of these gases likely caused intense global warming and acidification of the oceans, leading to the extinction of 76% of marine and terrestrial species. This event marked the end of the Triassic period and paved the way for the dominance of dinosaurs on Earth. As we reflect on these catastrophic volcanic eruptions, it is crucial to acknowledge the unpredictable nature of volcanic activity. Despite advancements in monitoring technology, Accurately predicting when and where the next volcanic eruption will occur remains challenging. That's it for today's video. Remember to visit our channel, leave a like, and subscribe with notifications turned on for future enthralling content.